today for how to make a tender, sweet, and buttery German shortbread cookie that's so simple and only four ingredients. Kawaii Panda Cookies, here I come. Hello, hello. Hello, I'm Roxy and welcome to my kitchen. If you're new here, my passion is helping you make sweet treats. Intro animation. Because adults need cute things too. Mm. So funny, but the first time I had German shortbread cookies was when I was studying in Germany. If you've never had a shortbread, it is totally different than a chocolate chip cookie. Shortbread cookies don't include a leveling agent like an egg, baking soda, baking powder, so they're extra delicate and fragile. Fragile. This recipe is just four ingredients. Extract is optional. And as always, I've linked all recipe details in the description below. Using a hand or stand mixer, cream the room temperature butter and confectioner sugar until pale and fluffy. This takes about two to five minutes. Start on low and slowly increase to high with the hand mixer. Occasionally scrape down the sides. And here's what the creamed butter mixture looks like. Because flour is commonly mismeasured and that's the most common mistake in this recipe, you'll either wanna weigh your flour or spoon your flour into the measuring cup to ensure accuracy. Hmm, I should demonstrate that. This is how you'd, you add flour into your measuring cup and then you just wanna make sure. I don't know what that's called. You wanna level your flour to make sure it's proportioned correctly. <laughs> Do not scoop straight from the container. Add the sifted potato starch and cake flour into the butter sugar mixture. Occasionally scraping down the sides. Like here's a bowl, this is the side occasionally scraping down the sides. This will get to a crumbly state. Try pinching some dough between two fingers. Does it hold together? If so, your cookie dough is the correct consistency. You can stop here. If your dough is dry and not holding together, add one tablespoon of water. This often happens when too much flour is added into the dough. At the crumbly stage, mix with a spatula until the dough comes together. So we're going from mixer to spatula. Be patient. When I first made this, I thought, this will never come together. Never. <laughs> As it starts to come together, it looks like this. Your dough can be made a day or two ahead of time and stored in the refrigerator until you have time to form and bake your cookies. And then keep going until it looks like this. This is where you'll want it at. So smooth. This recipe comfortably makes nine panda cookies, but if you'd rather have regular cookies, then omit the decorating and make 12 balls. I keep a majority of my dough white. Remember, it's easier to add than remove color. Knead until the coloring is evenly incorporated. I tint the dough with food color paste. Food color paste is great for this because it's concentrated and doesn't make the dough too wet. Use your favorite colors. Mine is rainbow. I keep dough wrapped until it's used. I really like rainbow, but one color for all of the bear's features would be super cute too. The nose is either a small circle or oval. The eyes are two balls that I flatten into ovals. And the ears are two balls. I guess these are my ears. This is the panda ears. If you saw my Hello Kitty shortbread cookie video, you will find this project even easier than that one. Back to the cookie making. I shaped the head. It's more or less like an oval-like ball. My heads were all about 40 grams. Then I place all of the features. If you find that the features aren't sticking, you can add a little water with a brush or finger. I love that each panda has its own features and personality. So cute. I lined this baking sheet to place the pandas on for baking. Wrap everything in saran wrap and refrigerate for at least half an hour. 
Remove plastic wrap and bake for 10 minutes in a preheated 250 degrees Fahrenheit oven. When the cookies are done, let them cool completely. Here they are, all complete. Here's an idea. You could add edible pink luster dust to the cheeks for extra cuteness. So crumbly, melt in your mouth, and subtly sweet. I love them so much and they taste so wonderful. By the way, if you love pandas, I have a super cute video where I make panda-shaped boba from scratch. Thank you so much for following me and helping me hit 1,950 subscribers. Yay, confetti. <laughs> Imaginary confetti. <laughs> I'm doing a YouTube Live every Thursday, 5.05 Pacific Standard Time. So exciting. Coming up is a dessert recipe playlist with more tasty videos. Thanks so much for watching. And see you soon. Why? Oh my gosh, did you hear my stomach? I'm so hungry. <laughs>